All right, got a fun new series for you guys. This is going to be ranking college football helmets from worst to best. Now, I'm just doing the Power 5 schools plus Notre Dame, so there will be 65 teams. For schools that have multiple helmets, I'm just using the one that they use the most frequently. Here we go. 65 was a no-brainer. It's got to be Boston College. Just look at this thing. First of all, it's a less than ideal color, but add in the fact that there is literally nothing on it, no logo, no stripe, no nothing. I'm sure there's some special reason behind this, but it just makes for a terrible look. 64, some of y'all might not agree with this one, but Penn State, listen, this one is absolutely iconic. I know it's a classic, but that's not what this series is about. It's about how good they look, and this is terrible. They literally just took a white helmet and put a blue stripe down the middle. They can thank Boston College for saving them from being dead last. 63 Nebraska, basically just Penn State in red, and they threw the letter N on there using the default font. 62 Alabama, oh, but that's a classic. Yes, I know, but it's terrible. They just threw the player's number on both sides of the helmet. Could have been better if they at least put the logo on one side. 61 UCLA, ruined by the vomit gold color of the shell. Number 60, another one a lot of you might disagree with, but Ohio State, listen, I know it's classic and iconic, all of that, but there's just nothing to it. It's a silver shell with a stripe down the middle, no logo or anything special like that. 59 is Rutgers. This one's just very boring. They just stuck the letter R on the side of the helmet. I know that's their logo, so it was about their only choice, but it still makes for a bad look. 58, Wisconsin. We're knocking out a lot of Big Ten teams, but this is just a letter on the side of the helmet, but at least the font's a little bit better than Rutgers. 57, Oklahoma. Hey, at least we got two letters on the helmet this time. It's classic, I know, but it's just a very plain look. 56, Baylor. Again, we just have letters on a helmet, but at least there's two colors. Just a reminder, I understand that these are the school logos, so they don't really have much of an option, but it still doesn't justify the helmet not looking good. 55, Tennessee. Again, iconic, but just a letter on the side of the helmet. At least they got the stripe down the middle, and I like the color orange, so that's why it was a little higher. 54, Syracuse. Again, same concept, but I love orange, and the blue trim is a nice look. 53 is Georgia. Now, I do like the red and black color scheme, but at the end of the day, this is just the letter G on a red helmet shell. 52 is Northwestern. Now, I do like the purple shell and the fact that they didn't just use the basic lettering style, but the thing I have a problem with is I don't like the way that the end kind of like bends back inward. Looks a little bit weird. 51 is Illinois. Now, I don't like the fact that the outline of the letter I is the same color as the helmet shell. That's a little bit awkward, but orange is my favorite color, so that's what carried it this far. 50th is Virginia. Now, this side of the helmet is great, but this side of the helmet is terrible. I absolutely hate having numbers on the helmet. I think it looks super tacky. If this were the design on both sides, it would have been much higher, but the number ruined it. 49, Georgia Tech. The gold lettering and stripe makes for a clean look, but nothing super special. 48, Auburn. Another one with a clean and classic look, and I like the color scheme, but I like flashy helmets, and these are pretty basic. 47, Duke. Decent, but I would have preferred these colors to flip. 46 is Miami. Now, I know this look is iconic, but it's just a little bit plain on the white helmet shell. They have an alternate black helmet with the same logo, which looks elite and would have been a lot higher, but the white is their primary helmet. 45 is Texas A&M. Now, I love the style of this helmet shell. It looks excellent, but what ruined this one is the logo. Just having three letters on there can only get you so far. 44 is West Virginia. Another one that I just love the style of the helmet shell, but the logo is a little bit plain, only having the two letters, but it looks a little bit better than a lot of the ones we've seen so far. 43, Virginia Tech. Again, just letters. If they would have put the Hokie logo on there, that would have looked amazing and been much higher. But still, this is a solid color scheme, so that's what got it this far. 42, Colorado. Now, I like the logo on this one, but this is another helmet where I think it would look a little bit better if the color scheme was switched so the shell was black and the logo was gold. 41, Cal. Very basic design, but the cursive font makes it look pretty sweet. 40, Kansas, another basic one, but I just love how the letters shine. 39 is Kansas State. This one's definitely a clean look, but I personally wish they would have incorporated a little bit more purple. That would have made it more eye-popping. 38, Mississippi State, just your typical college football helmet, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of the color maroon, so that's why I couldn't have them any higher. 37, LSU. Now, I know this one's a classic, and I do like the Tiger logo in the middle of the helmet, but I've never been a big fan of the big block letters across the top of the helmet. I think it's a little bit too basic. 36 is Texas. Now, the logo is obviously very iconic, and it looks super sleek and shiny on this helmet, but there is just way too much white space on this helmet for me to have it any higher. 35, the one you've been waiting for, Notre Dame. Obviously, one of the most iconic looks in college football, but the issue that most people, and myself included, have with it is there's no logo or anything on it, but it's made up for by the fact that this thing is just beautiful, super shiny. Obviously, the gold is amazing. 34, Florida. The cursive font is unique, and the color scheme is nice, but they could have done more with a name like Gators. 33 starts a run of teams that are just pretty solid helmets. Nothing super unique to set them apart. Most of these are just the logo on the helmet, which makes for a nice look. Just nothing really crazy special about them. 33 is Iowa. Love the color scheme and a nice looking logo.
32 Missouri, another pretty typical look, just their logo on the helmet, but this is a nice color scheme. Black and yellow look great together, and they have a nice logo. 31 Iowa State, same concept, but I just think the color scheme makes this one pop a little bit more than the last two. 30 Texas Tech, again, they just got the logo on the helmet, but the reason I had it above the others is because I think the red and black combo just makes for a really sleek look. Kind of got a toughness feel to it. That's why I like this one. 29 Clemson, again, just your average college football helmet with the logo on the side and stripe down the middle. But as you guys should know by now, I love the color orange, so I'm obviously going to be partial to any helmet with that, so that's why it beat out the others. 28 Kentucky, these are solid, but the reason I put them this high is because even though I only use the primary look for this series, they have some alternate silver ones that are phenomenal. 27 Arizona, now the design's pretty basic by just having the logo on there, but the way this color scheme looks on the red shell is sweet. 26, NC State, just your typical helmet look with the logo on the side, but I think this one is awesome because I really like the way that the wolf looks, and I also like the fact that he's kind of blown up a little bit bigger than the usual logo size. 25, Oregon State, this is another school with an excellent logo, so having that as the centerpiece of the helmet looks great. 24 is Indiana, this one was carried this far by the unique style of the outer coating of the shell. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what this style is called, but I really like it and it makes for a tough look. 23, Arkansas. Again, the same style of the shell coating as Indiana. I just think their logo looks a little bit better than IU, so that's why they were a spot higher. 22, Michigan State. Same style as the last few, but I just think the logo and the stripe down the middle makes this one a little bit better. 21, our last one with this style of shell, Oklahoma State. This one beat out the others just because I think the orange on black color scheme is phenomenal. 20th is USC. This one is an absolute classic, but just remember this series has nothing to do with that. It's just about how good the helmet looks. And while I've never been a big fan of this color scheme, the logo is just incredible. So much attention to detail on it, and it makes for a sweet look on the helmet. 19th is Washington State. This is another one carried this far in the rankings by its logo. Now, obviously, it's a cougar, which is what their mascot is. But if you look closely, there's a W-S-U. That is incredible. 18th is Ole Miss. Now, Florida does have a similar look, and I had them a lot lower. But this color scheme that Ole Miss has just is super eye-popping and makes for a really sweet look. So that's why they made it this far. 17th, Pittsburgh. Again, same thing. Kind of got a little bit of a traditional feel to it. And the color scheme makes this one really stand out. 16 is Wake Forest. Now they have a gold helmet very similar to this one and it is absolutely beautiful. Would have probably been top five, but this is their primary helmet. So that's what I used. Still a super sweet look having the gold on black. 15th is Arizona State. Now I'm not huge on this color scheme, but the Pitchfork logo just makes this one look awesome. And they also have some other secondary and alternate helmets that look really sweet too. 14 is Stanford. This one's pretty simple, but got this far because I really like the way the logo looks. I love how they got the tree in the middle of the S, and then obviously it's super shiny, so it makes it eye-popping. 13 is Vanderbilt. Now, I am always a big fan of having the gold and black color scheme, and I think having the gold star and the gold V in the middle just looks great on this black helmet. 12th is Utah. This is another helmet with the unique coating on the outer shell. Really makes it stand out. I also think they've got a great logo, so all of that together makes me really like this one. 11, a lot of you might not like this because you think it needs to be near the top, but Michigan. Personally, I just hate this one. Usually, I love helmets that are a little bit crazy and a little bit unique, but I think this one just comes across as a little bit tacky. I don't like the way the stripes look, but I know this one is super popular and a lot of people love it, so that's literally the only reason it made it this far. 10th place is Florida State. They've got a solid color scheme, so that helps this helmet a lot, but the best thing about this one is obviously the Spear logo. I think it just looks awesome and makes for a really tough look. Ninth place is South Carolina. I just think the all black look is really cool and having the maroon in their color scheme just really makes this helmet pop. Eighth place is Purdue. This one just speaks for itself. The gold helmet shell is absolutely beautiful. The black logo on it really looks nice and I just think this is one of the best looks in college football. Seventh place is Washington. Again, we've got this super shiny gold look. I love this look. I had it one spot above Purdue though just because I think the purple face mask makes it pop a little bit more. Sixth place is Minnesota, another one with the gold shell that I absolutely love, but I had them one spot above the others because of their primary helmet. From the side, it's a super clean look, but this feature right here is why they made it this far in the list. Their team and program has a catchphrase where they say, row the boat, so they have an oar down the middle of their helmet, which I just think is an awesome tribute. Fifth place is North Carolina, pretty typical look on the side, just having their logo, but what got this one into the top five is the stripe down the middle, super unique look, and I just think it looks so cool, and they also have some pretty sweet alternate helmets. Fourth place, TCU, love the frog logo, and I also like the fact that they use purple lettering above it, kind of makes it pop a little bit more, and they also have some amazing alternate helmets too. Third place is Louisville, now we've already seen so far that I absolutely love the shiny helmet look, and using their primary color of red just really makes this one unique and eye-popping. 
Number two, this was super tough, but I went with Oregon. I totally could have put them at number one. It could have gone either way, but they just have so many awesome helmet designs. They really incorporate the bright green and the bright yellow in all of them, and they have a sweet look. And my favorite helmet in college football is Maryland. It's super shiny, super unique, and eye-popping, and I love the tribute it pays to their state and university by having the state flag on it.